Hi you guys, my name is Brittany and welcome back to my YouTube channel. You guys, in today's video, I am going to be showing you guys everything that I'm going to be using for our Africa unit study to start off our homeschooling year of the 2021-2022 school year. So if you guys are interested in seeing all of my Africa resources and our unit study and everything like that, then just stay tuned for today's video. So you guys, I am so excited about today's video. I am so excited just because I was not planning on starting our Africa unit study until our second quarter. But when my daughter seen me getting all of our Africa stuff together for our first semester, I was just really just gathering things just to prepare for our whole first semester just because I wanna be ahead of the game this year. She's seen all of the books, you guys, and I kid you not, she was already digging into them and she said, mommy, are we doing this first? Because I I want to do it now so she is so excited about this Africa unit study and I'm excited for her as well this year we are uh, planning to start American history however when I came across Amber from the heritage mom blog she had a beautiful Africa unit study and this is a Charlotte Mason unit study whereas this really is just going to be a guide to help us figure out all of the books and the resources that we're going to be reading for us to get a good Africa experience Experience. And I'm so excited to try out her amazing Africa heritage pack. Now, one thing that I am very excited of is when I came across Amber's blog post, she made a beautiful blog post how it's so important, especially for African-American children, not to jump straight into American history because American history does have a lot of enslavement and slavery and it's really good for you know African-American kids to get a sense of culture and to get a sense of other black Americans other than just in that particular time frame. And I really found that that was gonna be something that was gonna be important to me and my household. I want Brielle to see what African culture is. I want her to get a pride and a sense in Africa before we really do get in American history. And I loved Amber's blog post. I'm gonna link all of her information down below because I feel like that blog post was a beautiful read just for anyone to go back and read. So in her amazing Africa unit study, I'm going to give you guys like some flip throughs, flip throughs of this too as well. But inside of her Africa unit study, pretty much this unit study right here is for grades one to three. Brielle is going into the fourth grade. So some of the books that I that she did suggest in here, I am going to be swapping them out for chapter books because I do want to give Brielle a bit of a challenge. However, I do still want her to be able to enjoy just the light and the Charlotte Mason approach to her amazing Africa unit study. So the two or the three main books really for this Africa unit study is going to be Africa Amazing, Africa Amazing Africa, country by country. So this is the main book that we're gonna be using as our reference book for the Africa unit study. We're also going to be using Africa is not a country. I'm very excited to read this book right here. And also to another one of the main reference books is Ashanti Tazula, African Traditions. So these are actually the main three core spines of the book, the, of the <laughs> Africa unit study. The rest of the books are going to be picture books. Now I did, I went ahead and ordered the first four weeks of picture study books because my library, you guys, it was really hard for me to find all the books. And it made me really sad that they didn't have a lot of African books in my libraries. So I really had to purchase almost all of my books. And honestly, I'm not, you know, I'm not upset that I did have to purchase them. I'm happy because again, I do have two younger kids and I really feel like I'm going to probably do this Africa unit study over and over again. So just to have the books on hand, honestly, it's really, really amazing. I'm not upset that I did have to buy the books, but I was really hoping to be able to utilize my library library in this sense so yeah the first book is the day of Ahim secret I also have Anna hibiscus this is going to be the chapter book that we read along with the picture study I do have another chapter book that we are going to read we're going to read a long walk to water as well I have deep in the Sahara I have the Draw Africa Easy Step-by-Step. Step. 
So this book right here, it pretty much just shows you how to draw um, Africa, starting off from the first country all the way to the end. And I really think Brielle's going to enjoy this book right here, Drawing um, Africa, just because as we go through each of the countries, she's going to add to her drawing. And honestly, I'm excited to do it along with her as well. So this is Draw Africa. I have a book right here for Leia and Alana just because I do like to incorporate them into school as much as I can. So I picked up an African alphabet for a book for the girls. So I'm really excited to have this along with them. I do uh, want to go ahead and also make some type of sensory box with like maybe mammals and kinetic sand and do some fun activities with the girls as well. So I am excited about that as well. So this is a book for Leia and Alana. I have two other books that she suggested as well. This is Dr. Uh, Wagner, Mathana, Plants of Forest. We actually read this book last year and I really feel like it will be a good book for us to possibly read again. She did include this into her heritage pack. She included a younger picture study. And since I already had this book, I figured we may just go through it again. This is a really, really good read. Now I have a few other books that was not included in the heritage pack as far as like our reading guide to the African study, but it was books I already had at home that I wanted to go ahead and add them in because I feel like they are going to mesh in beautifully. And the first book is The Boy Who Harnessed the Wind. I was meaning to read this book with Brielle last year, but I didn't. And I feel like this is such an appropriate picture book to add to our Africa unit study. And I really feel like maybe we can do like a little windmill project or something really fun along with this uh, book as well. Now when I do do like some type of uh, unit study, like when we did our botany, our main person was George Washington Carver. I do like to pick a person that we're gonna be studying along with our unit. And of course, the person we're gonna be studying with our unit is Nelson Mandela. So I have the Who Was Nelson Mandela. And along with that book, I wanted to go ahead and add the Nelson Mandela's favorite African folk tales. So when we go through a country or in within Africa, there is a folklore or a folk tale that goes along with it. And I really think Brielle is going to enjoy hearing all of these folk tales. And I'm so excited about this book as well. Now with the Heritage Pack, they are, um, I think it's over 20 country books, picture books that is included in this African pack. Now I did not um, purchase all of the books. Uh, I purchased as many as I could find from Thrift Library. And the things that I don't have, I'm just gonna probably supplement it with other books that I possibly can find from the library. But I do have the first four weeks worth of books for us to go ahead and get started when we start our school year really, really soon. So I am so excited to dig into this Africa unit. I'm going to be adding in some arts and crafts. I really want us to do like um, the sunset portraits and of like animals and things like that. I've been on Pinterest, you guys, and I'm so excited to really start this like Charlotte Mason literature based Africa unit study. Amber did a beautiful job on it. She does have other unit studies on her blog. She has one about the Harlem Renaissance that I really got excited about. And I Honestly, I just cannot wait to dive in, especially how simple it looks. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you guys enjoy seeing all of the resources that I have for our Africa unit study. You guys don't forget to check out Amber's blog on the Heritage Mom. And yeah, as always, you guys, please don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing everyone in my next one. Bye.